take him on a walk. Axel! This is like a really boot. cool piece of drift hard. This is like DOS boot. Look at all the crabs. Can you see them up ahead watching on Oh way? yeah. It's cool. Yes, this is where I saw the horseshoe crab. Anyway, this is dog, what dogs run out of life, you guys. Axel! You do want the dog to believe that there is some practical... Get under here with me. Look at all of them. Look at all of them getting up on the... Climbing up on the thing. Oh, yeah. That looks cool. Ooh, that's a cool movie. Direction. He's at the ready to come back to me right now. One, because there, he doesn't have where I am, there isn't anywhere else to go. I'm not kidding myself, but, you know, to this dog. You know. What I've got is a default behavior. I'm not saying or doing anything. This dog doesn't know I don't just suddenly go by the water and do this, <laughs> you know. But what I've got is a dog that's coming back to me on its own. Yeah, he's a really, really a good dog, I mean. But he's got, you know, it's just a couple of little syncrasies. I mean, he's very drawn to vehicles, and he's a good, he's a good house dog. I mean, he likes to be inside. But what he honestly, Axel, you see how at the ready he is, Ricky? Give me some other treats here. He basically just threw himself in my direction. That lady apparently found my line. Here's the bacon, I promised you, Penny. Uh, oh, whoops. Use that one. All right, now if you go out in the water. Oh, I didn't see that coming. That'll rinse his little hot spot. Yeah. Put a little bit of salt on that. Chance, you know what I'm saying to myself? Any chance I can get to go things the way I want them to go, that's who I am. You know, I'm not looking for better ways to correct him. Axel. It was a valiant effort, my friend. Yeah, we definitely need to get a couple pictures of you from this kind of angle. Because when you post it on Facebook, people go, oh, you're at the, uh, you're obscuring the microphone again. Uh, all right, now you're kind of putting the other stuff on top of it. Um, oh, 
Oh, you're at the beach with the dogs. I'm so jealous. Remember, that's the most important thing in life is to make other people jealous of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll write that down. You need to write that down, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Axel! Axel! Oh, you didn't see it, but Axel was headed to this guy's pickup truck. And look, there's a little dog over here. Oh, we we'll use it in our background. Axel! What we're running into now is Axel. Axel saw the open door. Axel! I better Axel be on my P's and Q's. He saw the open door of that. Show him that door right there. Of that pickup truck, and you guys, I don't know if you could completely see it, but... Yeah, I think we got him. I'll tell you who spun him right before his salty butt axle. Good. Jumped in there. Good. And I'm going to tell you what that was. That was the old axle jerking on the leash. And I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm not sure I hit the... Um, all right, look, so here's the dog over here. Axle. Now, good, good. You see how easy it was for me to push him down? I would not have continued to say it right there without taking action. Because the only thing more exciting to Axel than one vehicle pretty much is any vehicle with the door open. He would get go with this guy before us right now. We need to get our door open and level the playing field. That's what we'll do. We'll get our door open. We'll sit him right in the middle, Ricky, and then that'll be the video. But this guy going into a rage with his salty giant German Shepherd jumps in his truck. All right, so now I'm going to tell you where I'm at. Now is the time for me to say to this dog, remember how we talked him down about me not wanting the leash tight? God. Uh... That's where my head is at right now. Good. Axel, heal. And I am going to heal.